In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure Outlook Express to connect to our email servers. First, you're going to want to click on Tools, then Accounts. Next, you're going to want to go to the Mail tab, and then click on Add Mail. Now, first, it's asking you for dis your display name. The display name will basically be the account name to identify this particular email account within Outlook Express. I'm just going to use my name for the purposes of this tutorial. Next it's going to ask you for your email address. So my email address is johnsmith at example.au.com. On this next page, you're going to want to select whether you wish to create a POP account or an IMAP account. Our servers support both types, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be selecting POP. For the incoming mail server field, you're going to want to type in POP dot your domain name. So my domain in this example is example.au.com, so I'm going to type in POP dot example.au.com. For the outgoing mail server field, I'm going to want to type in smtp.mydomain name. So since my domain is example.au.com, I'm going to be typing in smtp.example.au.com. When I've typed in all the settings, I can then click Next. For the account name field here, I'm going to want to type in my full email address. So my email address is John Smith at example.au.com. For the password, I'm going to want to type in the password I created when I created the email account on the mail server. Once I'm done with all the settings, I can just click finish. I now need to configure my port settings and my authentication settings. To do that, I'm going to want to select the email account that I've just created and then click on properties. From here, I'm going to want to click on the Servers tab and tick the box that says My Server Requires Authentication. If you click on the Settings button, you can make sure to enable Use Same Settings as My Incoming Mail Server. Once you've double checked that that's selected, click OK and then go to the Advanced tab. The Advanced tab is where you can select the port numbers for your outgoing and incoming mail servers. If you're using an IMAP connection rather than a POP connection, your port numbers can vary from this video tutorial. The same goes for if you're using an SSL connection rather than a non-SSL connection. If you wish to know the port numbers you should use if using an IMAP connection or an SSL connection, just have a read through our support articles which display all the port information you require depending on which kind of connection you wish to make. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just using a POP connection and I'm using non-SSL. So for the outgoing mail server, I'm going to use 587 and for the incoming mail server, I'm going to leave it as 110. Once I'm done, I'm going to click Apply, then OK. I've now completely configured my email account and I'm ready to test if it works. To test if it works, I can send myself an email. So I'm going to click on the Create Mail button then send myself an email just with the words called test now I can click send receive and I've received my test so now I know my emails have been set up correctly and I'm ready to send and receive mail thanks for watching this video tutorial